relationship killers. Now I know I'm always talking about how to be the best you can be and how to create an everlasting love in your relationship, but sometimes you have to watch out for a few signs that you may not be in the right relationship. And everyone's different, so you're going to always have to kind of find different things about these people and you know, keep an eye out. You don't really want to waste too much time trying to be the best you can be if someone else isn't going to do it along with you. And that's just a waste of time and that's, that's something you really need to think about. What are relationship killers? There are a few things that people might do uh, that can really ruin a relationship that you got to keep an eye out for. One is saying, I love you way too soon. You don't want to do that. You don't want to seem too needy and say, I love you way too soon. You might freak the other person out. Of course, if you hear it too soon, they might possibly uh, be too needy or have an issue with that. And I don't really think that's a good idea. Uh, don't go out of town on a vacation too soon, not within the first six months. That puts a lot of strain. You're together for a long trip and you're spending the night possibly uh, together for the first time. You want that to be in a more appropriate spot than some hotel room somewhere because it looks cheesy. And that puts a lot of pressure, so avoid going out of town uh, way too soon. Definitely don't work together. I've done that a couple times. Uh, gone out and dated somebody that I worked with and the pressure is just too much. They end up being the boss. I have a whole other video about finding love at work. It stinks and it's a bad idea. Be careful that they don't say anything respectful about their family and especially yours. You want someone that is good with their family, that is okay with their mom and dad and treats people nice. If you find out that they have no respect for your family or your interests, they're not the one for you. Be careful of outlandish promises. No one needs to make promises. They're falling in love with you. You don't need to make outlandish promises and you don't need to hear them. Remember, winners make a commitment. Losers make promises. And of course, the last one, the most important, getting rid of all your guilt and fear and confusion of being the best that you can be. When you're the best that you can be, and so is your partner, that will create an everlasting love. If they're not going to step up to the plate, they're the wrong partner for you. If you want more tips on uh, relationship killers, and how to avoid them, go to relationshipcreation.com and get my free newsletter. I'll see you there.